Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Gab Official. Today I'm going to show you how to replace your alternator on this Audi TT. So as you can see this is the alternator we're going to replace in today. So first what we need to do is take this cover off. So we're going to have to unplug this plug here. Clips. There's two of them. Another one there. We're going to have to take that one off as well. Squeeze these together, pop it off. There will be some pipes underneath so don't just pull the whole thing up otherwise you'll snap something to take it up and then the whole thing will come up Just gonna lift. I need both hands to do this. Just remember to pop that up. See like that. So now I'm just gonna pop it off. So. As you can see, it's talking about. There is a little plug. This one hasn't got one connected to it. I thought it was like the Volkswagen, but it's, this one's different. So it just pops straight off, as you can see. So now we've got all that off. What we can do is just move this bolt out of the way. And disconnect it. It's going to take a little 10 mil out. Pop that up slightly out of the way so we can get a bit of room there for we take the alternator out this way. See the tension is there, so we're gonna wind that back, lock it in there need to get the spot out of there. As you can see, once you take the tail mill out, it just pops up like that. And you can just take it out of the way like that, or obviously you can just take these clips off and then take this off completely. But that's completely up to you. I'm literally just going to put it out of the way like that so I can, as you can see, the tensioner. I'm going to try and get it here so I can put the pin through there and lock the tensioner so I can take the belt off. So, let's get 7 mil, 17 mil span off, put it back, slot it painted, look at that. Just take the belt off. So, now I'm going to take that 10 mil out, just to have movement for this, these pipes. As you can see that's off now, I can move this. Just make sure you disconnect the battery obviously. Also 10 mil that's holding a dipstick together as you can see on the bracket here. Take that one off as well. You can see it there. And remove that as well. See it's off now. Just Alright, look. Loads of clearance still. I'm going to need to get number 13 off. There's no one down there. But also Unplugged. The alternator there. Literally push that down and pull off. Take those two off so I can move it. As you can see, I'm just using a 30 mil. 
stretch it in a short extension. So once the bolts are out, as you can see, they're quite long bolts for the alternator. That one as well. What we're going to need is a prize bar or we'll leave the bar, we call it, and just pop that down. Just move it back and forth till it slots away. I'm going to pull it this way. Disconnect the connectors for the wires on the back of it. Remember, battery needs to be disconnected. <coughs> Nothing shorted up. You can see, she's a leaf bar. See why we have to leave this bracket out of it. And we're gonna have to do the same to the bottom bit as well. It should just come off. So we're just gonna have to keep shaking it back and forth. As you can see, when you put it back in, the new one, this bit should have been pressed in already. Literally, you can just press those back in, push it out that way. That way, when you put it on, it just slides straight in. So, as you can see, the top bit's off, the bottom bit's always almost completely off as well, as you can see down there. As you can see, it's almost off. So all you're gonna have to do is let's just hold on to this bit. Obviously, I'm gonna have to use both my hands. Hold on to this bit. Get the lever bar, slide in between there, and pull it towards this way. So obviously, it's gonna it's gonna pull it this way whilst you're basically moving this back and forth, and then it'll come straight off. So literally, sort of like this, for instance. You want it behind there like that, and then obviously. Wiggling this back and forth like that, and it will come off. I'm gonna go in ahead and do that now. As you can see, that's not off. Now, what I'm gonna to need to do is get this alternator out from this where it's situated right in here. So, but first, before I do that, we're gonna to need to turn it over a bit. Do that. So now I've turned it where I can get it. You see this little plastic cover is going to need to come off. Then we're going to just take this, the nut off that's beyond that. And there's also another nut. As you can see, there's another nut literally, essentially right there. That looks like a little 8 mil. So we'll remove that as well. And the whole thing will come out. So first you need to just get that little pick or something. Or flatly screw down, pop that one. So as you can see, covers more. You can see that's the same. That's the cover. There's a 30 mil. And that one down there is a 8 mil. This is a small 8 mil to take it off. That's all. And it comes up. As you can see, the battery is on that bit sparking out right now. And I'm going to take that 10 mil and then the whole thing will just come off and I can pull the alternator out. So, as you can see, I'm using a small 8 mil to loosen it on off. It's not really that difficult. Once you've loosened it, just get your hand in there, just, 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 just screws off. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then you might be able to see me doing it. There you, you can see it spinning around. You can get a swivel extension if you want. A spanner will work on there. You won't need a socket just because of that. This, this rubber bit. That's sitting there, the spanner won't sit around it because it's sitting so close. So you can see that's all off now. So now we can play around with the alternator. So now I can bring it back up. Like this. I need to use both my hands to do this. But let's try with one hand, shall we? 
Basically, that's why I'm ultimating that. You can see that's what it looks like down there. As you can see, this is a genuine one. This is the aftermarket one that we fit in. What I was talking about. As you can see how these ones are pushed in. So when you tighten the bolts, it pushes those forwards. As you can see on the new one, they push outwards. Until you tighten them, they'll push them in. So you'll be able to slide it on easily. Then you put the new one in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. First, let's connect this little eight mil back on. See that's now on. The next thing to do is obviously connect up this one. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten those up now. As you can see, down, those are now tight. So what we're going to be doing now is putting that 10 mil back on that bracket and we're gonna put our belt back on so as you can see that 10 mil is now back on and what I'm gonna do is put this back in here like so and we're gonna tighten this one up the one that's holding the bracket not 10 mil we'll go ahead and do that so as you can see, that's not tightened. Our tension is still not adjusted. So literally, we can literally just fit the belt back on. So as you can see, the belt's not on. I needed both my hands to do it because that's to be down there. I had to put it on that and also on that one, that one. And obviously, underneath the pulley. 
all we got to do now. It's literally let's get our spun off. Pull that forward. Pull it out. When I release it, you see. So it just tensions a bit. Now I'm just going to slot this back in place. And just release it on top of this. So you're just going to fit the car back on. Clips out, just get in, clip it, clip it, and just pull our plug back in. So now we're going to connect our battery back on. As you can see, our alternator is not charging, it wasn't charging before, and we had the battery light on. So you see, we've cured the problem. As you can see, there's no lights on, so I'm just taking the vehicle for a quick little test drive because I had the traction control light on. But once you drive it, obviously, that just disappears. Thank you, and thank you for choosing Gab Official. Please like, share, and subscribe for further content on my channel. Stay blessed, keep on rolling. Boom.